bonjour from Bordeaux. <laughs> We're back in Bordeaux. We've been here for a couple days now. We came back a day early from our bicycle trip because we kind of cut it a little bit short. It was too hot. But we spent a day cycling around Bordeaux. We still got good use of our bikes, which was really fun. And yesterday we'd just been working, but today... Today we've got an exciting thing. We're actually going back to where we were on the bicycle in Saint-Emilion. Yeah. Cobblestone and cyclists don't add up. Yeah, but it adds to the charm of the village. A very famous winery or region within Bordeaux. So, and yeah, we have this Airbnb experience tour who is gonna take us there, wine tasting, aperol, the we're whole. Not cycling, we're but driving. we're not cycling. We're driving with aircon, so we're doing a very good way there. Yes, but yeah, we're going to go get three trust <laughs> on good wine. <laughs> Just expensive grapes. On the tour, it's our first stop. So. Right now, we're learning some interesting things about how wine is made and also classed in the Saint Emilion region. But the thing is, we kind of felt like we were school kids on a school excursion. Max, of course, had to be the teacher's pet and he asked one million questions, but I was just ready to start actually tasting some wine that we were learning about. And then you have to get new ones from the store. Do you sell them off to Burger? 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 Scotch? The big bottle. Okay, so we just did our first wine tasting at the Chateau. And we got to try some Grand Cru Classé, which is the second best wine you can get in this region. And uh, had better. <laughs> that was good, it was nice wine. Plan now, I think we're gonna go there, right there, to Saint Emilion, and check out the town. So we've actually been here before on our bikes if you watched our last videos about our cycling trip and we slept right there and then we rode up this road into St. Million for our coffee. So it turns out that as you might know maybe the Bordeaux used to be English because the lady of Aquitaine married Henry II, I think, who was the king of England or the king to be of England. And there was a lot of export import of Bordeaux. And the British would come and steal our good fresh wine. And you know what the British came to trade with? This right there. The stones that they used to make the ships heavy to travel, they left them behind. So we used them in the best way possible by making those streets. So those are streets from England, stones from England. There's a fun fact for you. I don't know what this guy thinks the word fun means, <laughs> but a fact indeed. The Los Santos group uh, got found them. They, well, they found us actually. So there are two courts left in Saint Emilio. There are two courts. One of them is still used as a church. But the other one, they made it a bar. So we're trying to find that one. Is this it? That's unexpected. Yeah, I did not expect that one. So that's the other tourist step. Who would have ever thought they would turn a 
church into a gift shop and a bar. We weren't too keen on that touristy vibe, so yeah. we came across a little... I thought it was going to be like a cool, kind of dingy, you know, like, not dingy, but like, you know, hipster style. Nice place to have a cold drink, but it was... <laughs> You know it interrupts me, Jesus. <laughs> Bless you. What was your ice cream? It was amazing. I have no idea where we are though now. We have to get back to the tour group. So, uh, still, the ice cream was worth it. If we're being completely honest, we were a little bit disappointed with the wine tastings. We didn't get a real tour of how the wine is made and where it is made. And the guides that were actually teaching us about the wine kind of lacked enthusiasm and energy for it. So we definitely felt a little bit disappointed in this tour, not to mention that the amount they poured into our glass was so tiny, you actually barely got to even taste the wine. The tour is over, it was great. We went to two different chateaus and we tried at each chateau like three or four wines. They were pretty minute tastings. And then we went to Saint Emilion. She showed us like two things in Saint Emilion and then said, spend half an hour doing your own thing. I don't know, I just think for the price, I expected a little bit more. Yeah, uh, so yeah, the good. tour, the tour it was great. I mean, it was Santa Million. Now we're done with this, and the guide actually recommended us a restaurant. It's our last night in Bodo, so we need to get cannellis. Yeah, there's a local delicacy, which is like a dessert. So we'll tell you about it when we're having it. Look where we just end up. Honestly, one of the prettiest cities. It's the prettiest city I've ever been to. And it must be one of the prettiest cities in the entire world. It's beautiful yeah, here. Yeah. It's really like... Really pretty here. Come to Bordeaux. dessert we couldn't find any it's very embarrassing to say that but we haven't had the local the main local thing from Bordeaux and we've been there for makes us look like we're in like <laughs> and we've been in Bordeaux for a week and a half technically more or less mm. more. we just haven't had one hopefully yeah. we can get one tomorrow morning so we're leaving tomorrow so we have to have it before we're tired, so we're it's tired. bedtime now. It's still like 40,000 degrees. It's so hot, there's no fan. It is so hot right now. Mm -hmm. It's like 9 p.m. So we'll see you tomorrow. Can I say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching.